And in our final item tonight, the U.S. Embassy hosted an Access Thanksgiving lunch at Beit Al Othman Museum with the attendance of His Excellency American Ambassador to Kuwait, Matthew Tweller. The event was aimed at bringing the American and Kuwaiti cultures under one roof away from the vicinity of study so that both the students and their educators integrate amongst each other in a humble and traditional environment. Our reporter Rinwa Jabouri attended the lunch and has the following report. Education is not an easy task. For some, learning is a serious, overwhelming task. Others consider it to be a task that should be accomplished, while others consider education to be a lot more than just a learning process, but see education as a fun cultural experience that can help to take them places beyond borders. Today, the U.S. Embassy invited young Kuwaiti students in an English language and skills program sponsored by the Department of State to a Thanksgiving lunch at Beit al -Othman. Museum to promote and encourage a cultural understanding amongst them. The initiative taken by the U.S. Embassy certainly resonated amongst the attendees. Individuals appeared to be highly engaged and were enjoying the opportunity of being present at a location which is extremely traditional and beautiful while also having a Thanksgiving lunch which is equally traditional. Well, of course, having these young Kuwaitis who are studying English and broadening their horizons and learning how to fill their place in the world is wonderful to see. So we enrich this experience they have in studying English of exposing them to some important aspects of U.S. culture. Thanksgiving is one of Americans' favorite holidays, a holiday that we take time to spend with our family, to reflect on the things for which we're grateful. And so to spend this time today with young Kuwaitis, with their family members, teach them about our holiday and our traditions, learn from them about Kuwaiti traditions, particularly in this beautiful uh, facility from the Dar al-Othman who has made their facility available for us. It's really a wonderful way to uh, build bridges between our cultures and to promote greater understanding. We try to make sure that students have as much fun as possible at Amadist as well as learning something by um, doing these kinds of events, Thanksgiving, um, New Year's, um, Fourth of July, as well as having teachers that are American that can um, integrate the students into the American culture and make them understand it, not just from reading books, but actually being involved in activities like this, um, Thanksgiving dinner and things like that. Since 2004, Amadist Kuwait has been managing the English Access Micro Scholarship Program in Kuwait. Students have expressed sheer satisfaction with the program that has allowed them to travel to the US, granting them the opportunity to grow as individuals, enrich their own understanding of old knowledge and improve their English in a safe and enjoyable environment. I, I'm a AS alumni. I was hosted in Canyon City, Colorado. Uh, I'm so glad that I'm a part of this event. It actually reminds me of my experience uh, uh, in the in the U.S. Uh, in Thanksgiving, um, uh, my host family was a really small family, and you know America is a really large family. So my host siblings were uh, splattered all over the country. So we had to go by car and uh, spend the Thanksgiving lunch with them in a hotel. Um, uh, Thanksgiving is, ju is just uh, about you know giving thanks and um, um, just uh, ap appreciate what you have uh, to God. Um, my experience was just amazing, like I cannot even describe it, uh, it just helped me to be a better person, um, uh, it just uh, made my uh, future education much better, um, uh, it just makes me a better candidate just to, to go back to the U.S. and uh, continue my education as a college student. Okay, so with the Access program it's a much younger group, so it's 8th and ninth graders, and we spend two full years training them up in English language skills and leadership skills and we have them interacting with the embassy uh, every two months making sure that they are you know utilizing that English getting aware and exposure culturally um, for the kids that are going to the YES program again we make sure that they're absolutely as prepared as possible in terms of expectation levels to get there and the hope is that to build up their English language levels to build up their um, confidence will actually set them ahead of their peers in terms of when it comes time to look at universities and moving in life and beyond. The Access program has exemplified that education is indeed so much more than reading a book and memorizing sentences. Students who are enrolled in the program have demonstrated that education is a world of knowledge filled with simple yet amazing enriching cultural experiences. 
Today's Access Thanksgiving lunch offered the Kuwaiti and the American cultures an opportunity to enjoy a traditional American meal in a special and unique location. From Al Althman Museum, this is Genro Jaburi reporting to you for the English News.